I feel like I like just said in a video that I was gonna try to stop coming on here and just being like, oh my god, these YouTubers are blowing my mind, or these videos are blowing my mind, but like, did I say that? Maybe that was in the video I deleted. Either way, at some point I was like, I need to stop coming on here and just like talking for hours about all the crazy shit I'm learning. But here I am yet again to like just wax what's it what is it wax um wax poetic there it is I'm gonna just sit here and wax poetic uh, about these fucking like language learning situations. So, I, okay, basically, the thing that I'm finding the most fascinating that I didn't realize, um, well, first I'll, I'll, I'll say, let me go, go back to the beginning. I'll go back to the beginning. When I first, the first time I realized someone else spoke something other than English, I don't remember my age. I think I was probably, it was probably when I moved here, so I was probably around six, seven, um, and I, I don't remember the exact conversation. I don't remember exactly what was said to me. I just remember, um, uh, um, at some point realizing that one of my friends spoke a different language and I was like, whoa, what, what was that? What did you say? He's like, that was Spanish. I was telling my mom something probably. I feel like that's the context I would have asked. And the fact that it just came naturally is Oh my goodness, is probably probably means that's exactly what happened. Um, but I just remember him remember like being oh how do you say this word in Spanish? Thinking that that like that language w in every language was well at that time I didn't know there was other languages aside from aside from Spanish. But at that point I was just like oh man. If so, like basically, I I assumed that it was word association. So, if like I had a word, you had a word, me had a word, has has a word, um, has had have, all the tenses have their own little words. I thought everything just had its own little version. I thought that like for um, learn, so it's a uh, um, ap aprendo. So if I uh, I thought if it's that, then uh, ap aprendo would have some form of apprending. <laughs> to like, like the ing at the end, you know, to learn, or like learning, learning. Is learning is that like to learn? To learn. So what? Aprender. Aprender. I don't. Does that work? Whatever. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too focused on grammar right now. I'm just. I'm not gonna worry about that. Um. But. Uh. And I remember for a while, like I distinctly remember for a while just thinking that all languages, once I realized that there were more than just like English, Spanish, like I was like, oh man, that's awesome. There's all these languages in the world and you just got to memorize the words, right? I like I had no, it, it just, it wasn't a thing that I really thought about. I was like, that'd be so cool to learn a language someday. I can't wait to do it. Um, and then I remember uh, the one day where it kind of clicked where it's like, oh, it doesn't have an exact translation. It was uh, my friend Steph. She was she talked she spoke to her dad or uh, her brother in Spanish. And I was like, oh, I didn't I didn't realize you spoke Spanish. She's like, yeah, my mom's Mexican. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I was like, um, could you teach me something in Spanish? And she was like, I what do you want? And and then I, I said so I must, I said something I don't know what I said, but um, she was like, I don't know how to translate that and I'm like there isn't there like a word for that and she I think it was it was probably a swear word and she was like she's like we have like things that we use that are like that but it's not like like it, 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 I don't think it was a bad word maybe it was who knows but um basically she she kind of just explained that that there wasn't like like a, a literal translation that she could like give that it was more of like a, <coughs> um, like it wasn't a direct translation, and 
even though it wasn't a direct translation, I wish I like I remember her not telling me what it was because it wasn't a direct translation. So she, like we all we all just kind of assumed that it wasn't gonna work out. Um, chill, bud. Chill, dude. But what I didn't realize when I started on this like language journey three, almost almost a month ago. I'm gonna say three weeks ago. It's almost a month now. I think we're on day twenty six or twenty twenty five. So we got like a couple of days, and then we'll be on the four week mark. So almost four weeks, not almost a month. It's close. It's a March month or a, a fucking Jesus. Um, no, I need to start saying "Adios mio." I, that's the one. Like I want to start using like like things that I can use in my everyday life that are just kind of like just rewrite my brain. Um, <coughs> uh, I got stuck like I fucking I got stuck in Spanish for a second. I was like, I don't know words for these. Um, so so at that point I, I like that like I realized that things didn't always translate. And then um Uh, uh, I don't think I ever really thought about it until like, like, in depth until now, really. So, one common thing that I keep finding out is that people say they have different personalities in different languages. Not like, like a split personality thing, but like, you have a different thought process. And then the, the, uh, the, excuse me, sorry. Um, the scoop there. Oh my gosh, I got like a hair on my nose. It's from him. I blame you, you little Nino. Come here, bud. Mi gato. Mi amor. Come here. I'm just like clicking at him. <coughs> uh, but just like the context in which you learn, like the, um, the things that you learn is just... It... um. it dictates like how you think because since there aren't always direct translations it changes the way you think about things and and um i i just started watching like like a video or i watched like a ted talk about language barriers and this woman she um what did she say? Oh, she was, like, saying that the first time that she realized, like, like the thing about language barriers was, um, uh, oh, man, what was her name? I just want to give her name so that you can, like, look it up. But, <coughs> but it was, it was something to do with language barriers, um, so, if, look up that TED Talk. But she said that she had a German friend that, like, um, I guess she, she used the, the, the term... The, the, like the term falling in love the English uh, term and uh, in German in German they don't have like falling in love like you just you're in love so like it made her like kind of rethink this this like like rethink like this this whole like 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 the, the idea the thought of love because like our thoughts are attached to our thoughts are attached to words like that's how we put things together is through words in our head. Um, so she was like excited for like. But did she say that? I don't know. Maybe I'm making it up. But like I can only imagine being like, being excited for the next time you, you're falling in love because now you have this word to describe like, I am falling in love, and that's the thing. It like, like. The, I can't imagine not having that because. Falling in love, like that's a that's a genuine feeling that I believe I've had before, of like that that moment of like, oh shit, I think I I think I'm falling in love, like I think I think it's happening. Like I can't imagine not having that like that that way to describe things, and and I think that's so cool. And and then um. Oh, what else did she say? Oh, she said something. But someone said something, oh man, I wish I could go back and watch it, but I'm using my phone, and I'm using my phone to watch things, so I can't stop and just go. But it, it was, like, about to make me cry, because it was just this moment of, like, wait, like, 
I cannot wait to see like like what's going to be falling in love for me what's going to be that for me with all of the languages that I am going to learn what's going to be that thing that that affects me oh my god that's what it was thank you it came um and so did me apparently so did I Jesus ay Dios mío <laughs> um wow Okay, so sensate. Something that I didn't realize is is how like realistic it actually is. How realistic sensate actually is. Oh man, I might start crying. Ah, you know what? I cry a lot. That's the thing that you guys are gonna have to get to know about me, especially like as I'm going through this. Like, so this is this feels spiritual to me. This ooh, this feels spiritual to me. And I'm very, very much, um, I don't know, I'm very much, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so Sensei, it just, like, it, it, I feel like, from what I'm hearing, Sensei got it right, because this person, she's explaining, like, she was saying it then, like, like language barriers, like, are, are the reason for, for the hate in the world, because, like, because you don't have thoughts without the words for it, and, and, like, and, like, that's such a crazy thing to think about, like, and then, and then, like, it was kind of solidified with, like, with like her saying that Helen Keller described it as like not have like you like there was nothing it was nothing like she had nothing and then and then she was given language and then she was given thoughts and she was given ideas ah, and that literally is the craziest thing that I just have the the craziest idea that I've ever like realized I didn't realize it with all these people saying with all these these different people saying like it changes how you think about things I never thought about it like that until this until until this TED talk that <coughs> oh my Jesus me <coughs> oh lord <coughs> oh. I want it to become my natural reaction to say adios mio so I'm just gonna drill it, you know. When I think about it, I'm gonna try to translate. Like I'm gonna self-translate. I think that's gonna help with like, <coughs> um, with the uh, with the output stage. Is just like if I say like, oh my goodness, I dios mio. Like correct myself, in like, in a like, like in a kind way. It's like it's like an encouraging like, oh. I do some meal. He. Fitz, come on, stop whining. Come here, brother. Come here. I'll give you attention. I'm sorry. I'm talking. Come here. Bud. Bud. I, I'm talking to. I'm talking to people, bud. Come here. What are you whining about? You have food. You have water. Let's try. Okay. Amelia, you don't have water. Let's go fill that up. Sorry for not listening to you, bud. That was my my fault. I don't know how to say. It. I think fault is culpa, but I don't wanna. I don't want to enforce um, negative habits. So I don't want to say things that I don't actually know. Um, yeah. Yeah. See now I feel bad because he's like crying. And I'm like, shut up, you're interrupting me. And he's like, bitch, I'm thirsty. My bad, bro. My bad. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So so then, okay, Sensei. This is, in, in my last uh, video, my last two videos, I, th I'm, I think I touched on, like, that there was a reason for the languages that I chose. Sensei is that reason. I'm not going to get into specifics. 
um, because this isn't that video. Um, but it has something to do with like just this feeling that I'm having. Fitz, thanks for uh, distracting me. You got the, little, the the cry so far out of my system for now. But I'm not I, I'm not ready to expose that to you guys yet. Oh, excuse me. Um, like I cry a lot, and like I like crying, but like I'm trying to keep it collected. Um. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? Shit, I already forgot. Oh yeah, fucking sensei. Okay. So basically, the way that like, oh shit, the way this one, this woman in, in the TED talk said like that, like the language barriers, like we need to, if we open our language, like we open our like ourselves to other languages and we learned other languages, and her, well hers, she kind of was like under the assumption that like, like the the language gap, like you can't process language past like seven years old like one two that you can't learn language it almost felt like that but um but it's not it's not and i hope she i hope she knows that now and i hope she's like just studying all these languages because it's it like you can still get introduced to concept and, and i mean and that's that's the thing that like i hope that she i mean maybe i misinterpreted her message but that's kind of how i took it and I mean, it doesn't really matter how I took it, how, like how she lives her life is how she lives her life. Um, I have no input on that. But I hope that she realizes that her friend, her German friend who was introduced to the idea of falling in love is now going to experience falling in love so long as she remembers that. But those types of words or those types of like feelings, those connections to emotion, you don't forget those. That's the type of thing where when she starts feeling like she's falling in love, she's already, like, she knows what it's like to be in love. And now that she knows the term falling in love, I'm sure she can process the moment of, like, oh, wait, there, there is, like, that moment where, like, that feeling of, like, beforehand of just, like, wait, I think I'm, I think I'm in love. Like, I think I'm falling in love. Like, it's, yeah. You know, I think it's cool. But, yeah, so in, in Sensei, Basically, the all the eight people from around the world, language barriers and whatnot, different like socioeconomic status, uh, uh, um, a bunch of other shit, um, privilege and 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 so like I I don't know what's the opposite of privilege like the hat that some have some have not and some have but also have not and. Man, that's like all of them, but any e either way, they're connect. They they all find at some point in their life that they are connected in their mind, and and um, I don't want to spoil too much, but basically, this opens their minds to things they hadn't thought about previously, and it basically was an entire series about humanizing people that you could never imagine would be similar to you. Like, if, if you're not open to it, basically. Like, I, I, I would, like, I'd basically say that if there was any hateful bone in my body, Sensei extracted it. I don't know anyone who's seen the entirety of Sensei like all, all the way through and hasn't left with like a like a like a just a completely altered state of mind it's 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 almost like like learning a, a new language at, at least how i would describe it like the feeling that i had after it it was like i had like i don't know like you, you just kind of reach an understanding of like, wait, people are people, basically, and it's just it's so it's so beautiful. I, like one of my favorite songs, um, it's by Above and Beyond. It's called Good for Me. If if you want to make me cry, play that song. The connection to it, and I want. Oh my goodness. 
goal. I'm putting it right now, new goal, and I'm gonna write it in this description of this video so that I like remember it and in the title, maybe not in the title, but goal, I want to listen to Above and Beyond. Good for me by Above and Beyond. Fitz, what are you doing? I don't know, come here. I wanna to listen to uh, Above and Beyond, uh, uh, good for me, um, in every, in any situation that I have that has me fully immersed in one of, in one of the, 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 the sense eight languages, those, those are the languages that I've chosen to learn, uh, aside from ASL, that's, that one and, and Norwegian are all personal, um, choices. Um, I made it without crying. See you later, guys. Thank you guys for watching.